Thank you very much, Mila. We're a little bit short of time, but I think we have still 11 minutes to answer legal questions. And if we have time, we also will um, answer uh, the general questions. If someone was not in time to ask us something about medical or organizational issues. Uh, I see that Helena um, doesn't hear us. Uh, I will, uh, could you please, uh, Helena, maybe schedule Skype consultation with us or I have, I think I have your email so I will uh, write all those um, answers you are interested in uh, in written form if you cannot look us or maybe you can just try to uh, to increase uh, your sound, just to, to hear us better. And of course, we will try to speak a little bit louder. Uh, well, what about insurance in the surrogacy area? What can you tell us about insurance in this aspect? Actually, um, insurance in Ukraine, uh, we have no uh, such branch of insurance like a medical insurance. It's uh, connected with um, maybe special condition of the, uh, of the woman uh, which is pregnant. Because uh, pregnant it's a very difficult process, yeah, and we can have a lot of problems. Uh, so Ukrainian uh, uh, insurance companies are not ready uh, to, do, to do this now. But um, um, these companies and we, uh, IRSA Center, uh, we are taking uh, uh, active part uh, into, um, into uh, uh, bringing this project into life. Mm -hmm. Thank you. So we still have nine minutes, so if there are any questions, you would better type them now, so we have time to answer them. Uh, oh, thank you, Ronia, for advice to Helena. Uh, Hilda, is surrogacy available for single people? Uh -huh. um, nice question, thank you. Actually, um, actually it's a problem. Uh, if uh, you, the station is following. If you are a single man, Mm, uh, you can't have a uh, child into, uh, in Ukraine uh, according to Ukrainian legislation because uh, uh, the father of the child is uh, intended, uh, intended father, yeah? but the mother in certificate uh, must be written uh, surrogate but it's, um, it, it can be according to our agreement and it, it can be according to situation generally so it's impossible and what's about mother it's uh, problems too because uh, as Ludmilla told um, Swedish embassy requires DNA test DNA test between father and child but if you have just mother how can we get Swedish father? to transfer child into Sweden. So in Ukraine we just have no problem, but in Sweden we have. Uh, this just doesn't concern um, egg, egg uh, donation or embryo donation programs because there is no surrogacy involved. So for single people, uh, I mean single woman which needs embryo donation or uh, sperm donation, this is absolutely or egg donation but is carrying child on her own, this is absolutely possible idea. I just want you to feel the difference that this issue is very, surrogacy is a very sensitive issue uh, in the international aspect. What about same-sex couple in Milan? Same-sex, oh, it's a problem uh, too because uh, same-sex couple uh, is not covered by law in Ukraine and actually they have the same problems because uh, in the birth certificate of child uh, we could have a uh, first station to mothers or to fathers and it's impossible in Ukraine uh, so it's impossible to have yeah, same-sex partnership or same-sex marriages are not recognized in Ukraine. That is why so far we are not entitled to provide those programs. But if there are couples, so there could be the program for single woman, which is available in Ukraine, but is not okay for Swedish embassy. Uh, for Swedish embassy. So in aspect of Swedish citizens, I think that this should be a um, couple, preferably, very preferably married. Yeah. Um, how long documents for embassy are prepared and how long does it take to come back to Sweden with a child? Uh, documents preparing, it takes uh, from one to three uh, a month and uh, so back, uh, back to the, just, uh, I think not more than three, uh, than three months. But it can be less, of, it all depends, like not just from us, but from the embassy. 
What is the overall cost of surrogacy process in Ukraine? I think this would be like we are moving already to general questions. Uh, if uh, there is, if you have any legal question, you can ask them now, or we just move to those questions which have some general meaning. Uh, okay, uh, so what is the overall cost of surrogacy process in Ukraine? I would say that 30,000 euro is like the average normal cost, which presupposes, which includes a medical program, which is IVF, medication, pregnancy, child delivery, legal procedure, agreements within all the parties, all documents and informed consents which are required by Ukrainian legislation to start surrogacy. Uh, the package of documents required to register child in Ukraine, registration in Ukraine itself, uh, co uh, negotiations with embassy, processing of documents for the embassy, and of course the most important selection of surrogate and a donor. This all is included in this price. This is like the average cost if nothing else is needed. Anyways, and least for egg donors and surrogates. Um, it happens very rarely uh, when we have too much couple. Uh, for example, in like vacation period in summer or something. But still, there are many women who would like to share that special gift they have with an infertile couple. And uh, that is why I don't think that we have this problem. I'd like to, to always Skype consultation. Should I call on your phone first? No, you just can find our email on our page of contacts and... Uh, um, or, or you can just um, find uh, there is a special ban banner on our um, on our web page with your Skype consultation. Uh, you can click, just fill in very brief, very short form, and we will be happy to uh, provide you with the most accurate information. Should I provide the clinic with some medical tests before I come to Ukraine? Oh, this is a medical issue. Нужно ли какие-то тесты делать до приезда в Украину и присылать доктору? Какие там могут быть? Это, наверное, сифилис, спит, гепатит. Да, группа крови, резус. То, что необходимо, но зависит от того, спермограмма мужа. То есть предварительные обследования, которые проводятся по стандарту, если это женщина планирует вступать, то, естественно, ее гормональное исследование, ну, общеклинические какие-то анамнез, который может быть изложен в нескольких там основных фразах, которые обычно задают доктор. 